This video will detail the configuration of the schedule feature on the VideoFied system. Keep in mind that accessing this feature does require a level 4 access. So if we scroll over, we're going to enter the configuration menu. And from here, we're going to scroll twice to the right to areas and devices. And we're going to press OK on that menu option. And then we can scroll to the left to quickly access the scheduling option. Press OK to enter the menu. Now here we can clearly see that scheduling is disabled currently. So we're going to press OK and we're going to use the arrow key to set it to enabled and then we're going to press OK to save that. Scheduling is now active on the system. And next we're going to right arrow to calendar management. And this is the menu where we're going to configure the individual calendar entries for our schedule. So we're going to press OK to enter this menu. Because there are not currently any calendar entries set up in the system, it's going to bring us to the new entry screen. And we're going to press OK to create one. Which brings us to the new entry screen, starting with the hour. So keep in mind this is a 24 hour clock, and we're going to use the arrow keys to select our hour. So for this example, I want to actually set it up for an 8 a.m. disarm. And you'll notice that when you press OK, it's going to move that double line across to the minutes. Pressing OK again, we'll move it to where we can define the opening or closing. So again, for this entry, I want it to be for a disarm, so we're going to leave it on open, and we're going to press OK to continue. And now this is prompting us to set up the days of the week in which we want it to follow this schedule. And also for this example, I want the system to disarm at 8 a.m. Monday through Friday. So we're going to type 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, each of those numbers representing one of the weekdays. Press OK. OK again. And our first entry is now complete, represented by the 0, 1 at the top there. However, we're not done quite yet as we need to set up a second entry for the arming. So again, we're going to press OK to set up the new entry. And for this next example, I want to configure it so that it arms up at 5.15 PM Monday through Friday. So again, keep in mind this is a 24 hour clock. So 5 PM is going to be 1700. We're going to press OK to move it to the minutes, where we can modify those. And set to 15. And then we're going to change open to close, which represents the arming. Followed by the OK button, which brings us to the day selection. And just like our first entry, I want to configure this to arm up Monday through Friday. Press OK again. And that second entry is now saved, which brings us back to the entry list screen where we can use the arrow keys to cycle through the entries that we've created for the schedule. Since these are the only two entries that I'd like to enter at this time, I'm going to press and hold the escape no key, which returns us to the home screen. Now what you'll notice here is a little S in the corner next to the level. And this is a way to quickly identify that there is an active schedule on the system. So if at any time we'd like to modify one of the calendar entries with our schedule, we can easily do so by entering the scheduling menu. Calendar management again. We're going to press OK there. Which brings us to our entry listing. So here we have our first entry. And we're going to hit OK which brings us to the new entry screen. Instead of adding one, we can scroll to the right, which brings us to the modify entry screen. We want to modify this entry, so we're going to press OK. And instead of disarming at 8 a.m., I actually want to change this to 10 a.m. So I'm going to use the arrow keys and press OK. And as you'll notice, it's going to look exactly like when we create a new entry. So it's going to step you through that whole process again. Again, I want to have this set up for Monday through Friday. So I'm going to input my days and press OK. And then OK again to save it. At this point, the modified entry has now been saved in the programming, and the system will now follow the 10 a.m. disarm.